Hi everyone, in today's lesson we're going to talk about how to find the determinant of a 2x2 two two matrix and how to find the minors and the cofactors. Every square matrix can be associated with a real number called its determinant. Determinants have several uses that we will discuss later on. So how we calculate the determinant of a square matrix which has A, B, C, D is given by A, D minus CB. Okay? So the determinant of matrix A can also be denoted by vertical bars on both sides of the matrix. So if I have given matrix A and I want to find the determinant, we could write it like this. So this means the determinant of matrix A, which is equal to AD minus CB. Okay. So given each of the three matrices below, let's find the determinant. I'm going to do one with you, and then I'm going to have you try the next two by yourself. So again, the determinant is this diagonal minus this diagonal, or the product. So we're going to take the product of 2 times 2, and that will give us 4 minus 1 times negative 3, so 4 plus 3 is 7. Okay, take a minute now and try these two, find the determinants, and then hit resume for your answer. Okay, here are your answers. Okay, all of these values are definitely possible. You can have a negative determinant, you could have a positive determinant, and you can have 0. But just to recall from our previous unit, if you get 0 as a determinant, that just means there will be no inverse matrix. We discussed that last time, so let's just write it down just to clarify. If the determinant equals 0, then a to the negative 1 does not exist. Okay, let's move on to try to find minors and cofactors. But before we can do that, I want to talk about some helpful matrix notation. So just to recall, we always name a matrix by its rows and its columns. So this matrix here is a 2 by 2 matrix, where the first two represents the rows, and the second two represents the columns. So we would say this here is my first row, so we'll call this row 1, and this is my second row, so we call this row 2. And this would be my first column, so we'll call this column 1. This will be my second column, we'll call this column 2. So if I want to name this position, we name it by the rows and then the column number. So we are in row 2, column 2. So that's why we'd call this cell, if you would, A sub 22. It just means second row, second column. Just as over here is second row, first column. And the same thing exists for a 3x3 three three matrix. These are my rows. So row 1, row 2, and row 3. And these are my columns. Column 1, column 2, and column 3. So this position here is second row, first column. So what I'd like you to do is try to locate each of these following positions. So I want to locate A sub 1, 2. That means the first row, second column. So I'll do this one with you. First row, second column would be right here. Okay. How about let's locate A sub 2, 3. So this is the second row, third column and that would be this value right here. See if you can try locating a sub 3, 2 and a sub 3, 3 and then hit resume to see your answers. Okay, so when you're locating a sub 3, 2 it should be here and when you locate a sub 3, 3 it's here. Now knowing where this stuff is located is helpful in finding minors and cofactors. So let's move on to the next page. Okay, minors and cofactors. 
To find the determinant of a square matrix of order 3 by 3 or greater, it is helpful to introduce the concept of minors and cofactors. So, for example, let's just find all the minors and cofactors of this 3 by 3 matrix. So, to find the minor 1, 1, we first have to locate M11. So remember, that means first row, first column. So first row, first column is this position here. So if I want to find the minor M11, we're going to delete the first row and the first column and evaluate the determinant of this resulting matrix. So the determinant would be this diagonal minus this diagonal. So negative 1 times 1 minus 2 times 0. So negative 1 minus 0 equals negative 1. So we have concluded that the minor m11 is equal to negative 1. Now if I want to find minor m12, that means first row, second column. So we're going to first find that by doing the first row, second column, which is this position. And if we want to find the value of the minor, M12, we're just going to delete everything in that row and everything in that column, and we're going to find the determinant of the leftover numbers. So here's the matrix that's left over. We're going to take this diagonal first, so 3 times 1 minus multiply 4 times 2, so we get 3 minus 8, which is negative 5. So, minor M12 is equal to negative 5. To find minor M13, we're going to find the first row, third column. We're going to circle that term, wipe everything else out in that row and in that column, and find the determinant of the leftover matrix. So, 3 times 0, minus 4 times negative 1, so 0 plus 4 is 4. So the value of minor m13 is equal to 4. So if we can continue this pattern, we'll find the rest of the minors. So take a minute and find the minors m12, excuse me, m21, 22, and 23, and then hit resume for your answers. Okay, here are your answers. Okay, take a minute and copy any of these down that you got incorrect, and let's move on to the next page. Okay, so again, I'd like you to try to find the rest of these minors for row 3, and then hit resume when you're ready. Okay, here are your answers. Okay, take a minute and copy any of these down that you got incorrect, and let's move on to our conclusion. So in conclusion, I'd like to write down all of the minors. So I'm going to start with these three because these are the ones that I can see. So 3, 1 is 5, 3, 2 is negative 3, and 3, 3 is negative 7. So what I'd like you to do now is go to the other page and copy the answers for the rest, and then hit resume when you're ready. Okay, to find the cofactors, we're going to combine the sign patterns in this table below with the minors obtained above. So if the sign pattern starts, look at the pattern here, it starts at, if it's a 2 by 2 matrix, it would start positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, po negative, and so on and so on. It's a pattern. So the same concept starts as if it's a 3 by 3. So this one is plus, minus, plus, minus, and so on and so on. So we're going to look and we're going to say, oh actually we can actually, I think it's easier maybe if we just follow this pattern all the way through and we put it next to all three of these. So we've got plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, and minus, plus, minus. Now actually what I noticed is this is actually a 4 by 4 matrix. There's 4 rows and 4 columns. I didn't mean to do that. So if you want, you can just cross this off. This is really a 3 by 3 matrix. Okay, so now that we have all the signs, all we're going to do is we're going to transfer all of these values down here and simplify them. So minor negative 1 we attach to here. So what is a positive negative 1 is just negative 1. And then we're going to put minor 
at 2, 1 here is just a 1, so this becomes a negative 1. Minor 3, 1 is 5, and there's a plus sign, so this one just stays positive 5. Minor 1, 2 is negative 5, and then when we multiply it by this negative, it becomes positive. Minor 2, 2 is negative 3, so that will stay negative. Minor 3, 2 is negative 3, and when we multiply it, it'll become positive. Minor 1, 3 is negative 4, which will just stay negative 4. Minor 2, 3 is negative 8, which will also stay negative 8. And minor 3, 3 is negative 7, which will stay, which will change to positive 7. And that's it. That's determinants and minors and cofactors. If you have any questions, jot them down at this time. Uh, otherwise, we'll see you tomorrow in class. Have a good night.